Jess Brigazetta. I'm with the Nerd Element. And I have two questions. One is to follow up on what you were just talking about. The, the basic one is just to talk about your process for uh, writing your different projects, you know, Olaf and Central Park. And then the other one to follow up what you just said, what's it like being female in this industry for you? Hmm. you. Well, we feel very fortunate to have had mentors that we looked up to and other female composers that had broken that glass ceiling and created a path for us to follow. I'll never forget being t about 20 years old and I noticed a song called, a musical theater song called Taylor the Latte Boy that had been written by Marcy, he Marcy Heisler and Zena Goldrich. And when I looked up at the top of the page to see who had written it, I was shocked because I had never seen two female names on a sheet, a piece of sheet music even with all the years of classical training and all the music that I'd learned from the age of six. So seeing that inspired me to then pair up with Kate and become more names on the top of sheet music so that other girls can see that and realize I can do this too. Yeah, and just to follow up, I think being two women in this industry is it's definitely had its challenges, but we feel so grateful that right now and over the last 10 years or so, there's just been a lot of room made for females and for women to come in and, and tell these stories and to, to write material that is really authentic to the, to the female experience and, and put a more um, female driven voice on things. Um, and to speak to your process question, uh, our process is, yeah, pretty different for it varies project to project. It's also varied a lot through the years as we've figured out how to work together. Um, and then at the more work we have, we've kind of figured out how to do it very quickly. And generally, um, when we have an idea for a song, we'll start out by talking about um, the lyrical hook uh, and the musical hook and landing on that first lyric lyrical hook first, just because we want to figure out what um, what's going to drive the song in terms of what's going to get us the most real estate, um, getting us from point A to point C. Uh, so, what what phrase can we ha uh, sort of use and and create different meanings for it throughout the song, um, so that we can have a an evolution of plot. Um, and then we oftentimes write music first. So uh, Elisa will generally, once we have our uh, lyrical hook, go off and, and come up with a musical structure and hand it back to me. And there's often lyrics uh, throughout it that are um, helpful in guiding the structure. And I'll take a swing at, at, at fleshing it out a little more. And then we, we collaborate until we feel like it is perfect. So we do a sort of back and forth and a, and a long conversation uh, over the phone or in person to try and um, get it all nailed out, uh, nailed down and ready to go out on demo. You wanna add anything? I think you nailed it. Thank you so much. Yeah, our pleasure.